Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.21 from the chapter number 4. So the problem is design a combinational circuit that compares two 4-bit numbers to check if they are equal. That means we have to compare the two numbers and we have to uh, check whether they are equal or not. That means whenever the num two numbers are not equal, the circuit will give output 0 and if the two numbers are equal, the circuit output should be 1. Now let us consider two numbers that is A and B. Suppose these are the two numbers. Okay, A is equal to because it is a 4-bit number, so we will assume that it is A3, A2, A1, a0 okay and b is b3 b2 b1 b0 okay these are the four bits one two three four here also three four bits so here we have to compare these two numbers so here we can understand that these two numbers will be equal whenever we'll have each bit its respective bits okay should be equal that means a0 should be equal to b0 a1 should be equal to B1, A2 equal to B2, A3 equal to B3. Okay, this is the condition. And you have to keep in mind that this all of 4 bits should be equal to this all of 4. That means A3 should be equal to B3 and B A2 equal to B2 and A1 equal to B1 and A0 equal to B0. That means whenever, suppose if we have 3 bits, this equal to this, this one is equal to this one, this equal to this one, but not this one, uh, not this two equal, then these two numbers will be not equal. Okay, for these two numbers to be equal in value, all of them should be equal to this, to the respective bits from the second number. So for designing this circuit, we have to see which get gives value 1, whenever two inputs are equal. Suppose A, B. So what is the desired output? Let us write down. It is 0, 0, suppose 0, 1 combination, 1, 0, 1, 1. This is, these are the four possible combinations whenever we will be comparing these two numbers. Okay, so whenever these two bits are equal, we have to get output equal to 1. Whenever not equal, we have to get 0. Whenever not equal, we will get 0. And 1 and 1, they are equal, so we will have to be get 1. Now, if we see this uh, table carefully, so we can see that this truth table represents the truth table of a XNOR gate. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll use XNOR gates to realize this comparison circuit. Okay, now let us find out the comparison between A0 and B0. A0 and B0, suppose. Then what we have to do, we have to apply these two inputs to an XNOR gate. Suppose this one is one XNOR gate. Whenever A0 and B0 both are equal, we'll have 1 here. Whenever these two are not equal, we'll have 0 here. Because this is the truth table of XNOR gate. Okay. Similarly, what we'll do? Similarly, we have to compare all the bits. A1, B1. Okay. So here also we'll use XNOR gate. Okay. Similarly for A2, B2. Okay, and A3, B3, A3, B3. Okay, these are the 4-bit comparison, that is bitwise comparison. Okay, so as part of the question, we have to design a circuit whenever all these 4-bits are equal. Okay, that means this circuit should give output equal to 1 whenever the all these four outputs of this XNOR gate has a 1 value. So what we'll have, so if we use a N gate, what we'll have, suppose this is one input, this is second input, this one is third input, and this is the fourth input. So, this AND gate is the multiplication between these four numbers. So, whenever any one of this value will be zero, that means any one of this comparison value is not equal, then this AND gate will give zero value. So whenever we'll have all these values equal to 1, that means all these bits are equal, then we'll have one output. Okay, so here we'll have, this is the output. So this is the combinational circuit that compares to 4-bit numbers and it will give output equal to 1 whenever all the 4-bits are equal.
respective 4 bits from another number. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.